They delivered a message of defiance at Pioneer Courthouse Square in downtown Portland today. That's where several protesters are calling on America to end aid to Israel in its war against Hamas. The timing comes as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel was also in D.C. to address Congress and ask for additional support. Now let's get to our Ariel Salk joining us live from downtown. Ariel, there was certainly a good amount of people who came out for that rally today. Yeah, I got a rough head count of a little over 100 people peacefully demonstrating their frustration with Israeli Prime Minister's address. And they're not alone. They, several leading Democrats have chosen to boycott Netanyahu's address, including Senator Jeff Merkley, saying in a tweet he should not have a platform before Congress. But some say that's just not enough. To be completely honest with you, like I, although I do appreciate that, I believe that he can do so much better. I think that he has a lot of people here who've asked him to do a lot more, and um, he can definitely do better. Protesters say they hold Netanyahu, excuse me, responsible for the deaths of thousands of Palestinians since Hamas's attack in October 2023. And this is also the prime minister's first time traveling since the International Criminal Court put a warrant for his arrest over alleged war crimes. Now he reached out to the Jewish. Federation of Greater Portland. To the protesters, they say that they respect their freedom to protest, to do just that. But this war cannot end until Hamas releases every single one of those hostages. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Ariel Salk, Queen 6 News. Ariel, thank you.